Hello friends, this is maths, sorry, uh, super ellipse. Oh, what is a super ellipse? It's known as the Lemay curve, after Gabriel Lemay is a closed curve resembling the elli el ellipse, retaining the geometric features of semi-major axes and semi-minor axes and symmetry about them, but different overall shape. Uh, you see the mathematical equation there? Uh, with x and y and uh, equaling 1. It's a very simple, beautiful equation. And it makes shapes like uh, like the ones you can see down here. Now, let's switch over to Maya and a new feature in Maya which creates such beautiful shapes in 3D. Here you go. Take a close look. It's so wonderful. And in previous versions, it took days to uh, do this kind of animation. The super elli ellipsis in the middle. And uh, it's just so beautiful to watch, really. I'm just rotating in the scene just to have a closer look. I activated the wireframe here. That's uh, you go to shading and wireframe on shaded. Looks quite nice. Without the wireframes, it's still pretty colorful. So, um, do you want to do this? Let's create a new scene. We don't save the scene. The menu is here. The entry. It's, a, it's an icon. It says Super Shape. Create a polygon super shape on the grid. And right click to choose the shape type. That's new in Maya 2018. Of course, we do a right click. And here we have the super ellipse. That's uh, the, the red one in the previous animation. Now, <laughs> this looks a bit boring. <laughs> Let's give it uh, a new material. And uh, for example, a Fong E in the color of red. Okay, now it's red. Let's make it a bit bigger. Now, what is super about it? Uh, you have to go here in the attribute editor. If you don't see the attribute editor, uh, just um, open it using, I think it's Command A. It's in, in German, it's Steuerung A. Um, yeah, and um, that's that's a super shape, and uh, you, here you see the scale. We scaled it up to three, we, uh, and it used to be one. But that's not what uh, what we're going for. Here's another one, the polygon super shape one. That's the one we're interested in. And here you see, um, oops, poly shape, uh, lovely. Here we can change it even deeper but uh, the the main thing I'm getting to is the super ellipse uh, submenu here click it open and um, when you uh, change the V exponent here you get this isn't it beautiful And now you get a cube, and the cube slowly starts turning into a sphere and then into a super ellipse. That's how I did the animation. Uh, basically, the uh, if you want to animate it, um, of course, you go to 1, to the beginning of your animation timeline, and then you uh, right-click here and set a key. And uh, you go to the end of the animation and set the same key. That means if you play the animation, nothing happens. But you can stop in the middle and then change that value, like so. And then set another key and then you have this animation. And that's the animation you saw before, basically. So that's the super ellipse. And now briefly to the other much more complicated uh, objects. Let's move this to the side for a second. Um, right click, spherical harmonics. Lovely. 
uh, let's close the super ellipse now we're in super shape 2 now and we have the spherical harmonics here if we change this pull down menu to uh, say super ellipse you have super ellipse again but we want to uh, stick to the spherical harmonics now and you open the sub menu here if you open this, uh, the super ellipse menu here you can't do anything about it because it's a spherical harmonics object now and uh, here you see what's happening amazing things whoop is that beautiful um, so let's keep in that position make it a big bit bigger okay um, and now change the V exponent 1 you see you get a much higher resolution and if you choose as the original re resolution of the uh, super uh, sphere uh, a higher resolution you get even more resolution here if you need it of course so here we, when we change the the multiplier two it's all changing parameters and uh, we're getting very interesting uh, changes this is the vertical uh, no that was the vertical this is the horizontal uh, parameter now Look at that intermediate object here, for example, isn't that? It's so nice, isn't it? And here you have the exponents again and to, to make the um, thing even more complex. See, now just the back rotates. It's the H horizontal multiplier 2. So uh, that's, um, that's the second object. We have the spherical harmonics. And um, let's give it another color new material fong color blue okay here it is let's get this a little bit closer into our view press the key a to move towards all of them all objects and now let's um, use the ultra shape here scale it up again we know already that this is just a boring sphere you can change the resolution that's what we're going to do now we have a powerful computer here and um, now we go to the ultra and the ultra has a separate horizontal and vertical option sub menu so you have this for example here with all the different exponent things here which we've seen before basically and here's the vertical option section which makes this kind of thing and we give this another color too let's make it green and now we have that amazing shape selection here which we just created with the new menu super ellipse spherical harmonics and ultra shape enjoy <laughs>